Hey guys, so today I am going to show you guys an updated brow routine as well as comparing these two brow products. Uh, this is the Benefit Cut Brow and this is the Anastasia Brow Pomade. This is small, it's a sample, okay, but it's still the product. Um, if you guys wanted to see how I actually got my full face, I actually recorded that. So it will be up after this video is posted. So um, I'm just going to wear test these products and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the claims for these two products are very similar. The Cabral says that it fills, sculpts, and defines brows, builds from natural looking to dramatic, 24 hour, and waterproof. <laughs> Take me swimming. But um, this brow pomade is a smudge free, waterproof pomade formula that performs as an all in one brow product. For today's video, I'm going to be using the Benefit Cabral on this eyebrow and the Anastasia Brow Pomade on this eyebrow. And you guys are probably familiar that I use this stuff all the time. This is actually my first and only brow pot product until this came into my life. Um, I got this um, at Ulta. It's a sample size, small, tiny. It still comes with the brush. <laughs> there it is. So to be fair, I'm going to be using the brush that comes with it. And this I'm just going to use my everyday brush. I don't think I mentioned, but this is actually a new color that I picked up. This one is in the color dark brown. This is in the color number five. This is the darkest out of all the shades. And this one, I used to use chocolate, so this one's a little bit darker. So you guys have been asking for an updated brow routine. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do my brows. And then like any wear test, I'm just going to go throughout the day with two different eyebrow products that I don't even know if they match on my eyebrows. So I'm just going to take the brush and in the little pot, um, just going to take some I don't even okay that's the color that's the darkest color oh okay well we're just gonna go in and since this is kind of hard to get the product I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and work from there um, so first what I like to do is I like to outline the bottom portion of my brows and I like to start more towards the middle. Oh, this isn't actually so bad, so. Okay, so I like to do that. And then with the remaining product, because that's where all of our product went, I'm just gonna bring it to the front. Yes, girl. So I'm gonna get a little bit more product. And then now we're gonna line the top Part of my brow the same thing start in the middle and then go out and it's okay if you mess up because you can always clean it up with concealer um, it's very rare for me to do my brows completely perfect without concealer um, so it's t totally normal and then once that is filled out I'm just going to fill in the rest of my brow with the remaining product that's on the brush Why did it just ball up? My god. It's okay, we can always fix it. Just take a spoolie and then just be calm <laughs> and work the product through the brow. I've never used any Benefit brow products before, so this is kind of my first time. I'm a virgin to it. Um, okay, well, we're gonna work. We're gonna work this out. So I'm gonna take just a little bit more product and I'm gonna fill in the outer portion of my brow just a little bit more. I noticed that right away when I just put more product uh, my brows are just very dry like they dried down like I just put a gel on top which is nice because you don't want your brows to move but then at the same time you want it to be a little bit workable 
So I'm just going to start concealing because I'm getting a little frustrated. So for concealer, I'm going to be using two different ones. I have the Revlon Color Stay in the color medium and light medium. I'm going to be taking light medium and I'm going to put that on my brow bone. With my e.l.f. concealer brush, I'm just going to um, smooth out this color along my brow bone. And what's really nice is that when you use a lighter color, it um, acts like a highlight, so it brings out the brow a little bit more. I kind of just blend the rest out with my finger. Nothing too special. Now you can see it's a lot cleaner. And then with the color medium, I'm going to use that on the top part of my brow. Put this on the back of your hand like this, and this is where it gets serious. To buff out the top part of my brow, you can use a brush as well, you can use your fingers, but for this one I'm using the BH Cosmetics 128 brush. Okay, so hopefully this is a color match. Now since I have used this product for over two years or about two years, I can already tell you that this is more of like a gel consistency and it's very easy to work with. It lasts a long time, all day, it's waterproof, so you don't really need to worry about if it's going to come off or anything. And I don't know, I just feel like this is my tried and true and I've used it for a long time for a reason. I don't think anything is um, that much of a difference. I mean, from far away, they look the same, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go on with my day. I think right now it's uh, almost one, it's 12.57, so I'll check back at the end of the night. Hey guys, so I am back from my day. It has been nine hours, and that's a pretty decent day. It was kind of hot today, so kind of a little bit sweaty, but not really. Um, I did smudge my eyebrows on this tissue and um, this is what happened. It was just a one, one swipe across the brow. So this side is the benefit side, this is the Anastasia side. Um, not much of a difference in the color transfer but there is some type of transfer going on with both of them. But uh, the Anastasia is a little bit more of like an even, you know swipe and then the benefit is more concentrated in one area but that's probably because I did a little uh, brow mistake but it's okay. I didn't mention this before but the cub brow is $24 with 0.1 ounces and the dip brow is 0.14 ounces for $18 so you get a little bit more product and personally I am a die hard fan for this stuff because it's very gel like and it moves very quickly but there are some benefits for both of them if you have thicker brows I feel like you would benefit from the benefit <laughs> because um, you don't really need a lot to fill in if you just already have um, really thick nice hairs that I wish I had but if you have thin eyebrow hairs or you have just thin eyebrows just in general and you want to affect the appearance that your eyebrow is a lot thicker and you really want to pack on that color then I feel like the dip brow really gives you a lot of color payoff without being too drying and I don't know just personal preference you know you do get a brush with the Benefit Cub Brow so maybe that will compensate for the six dollar difference but it's up to you if you um, want to get the Cub Brow or the dip brow it just depends but uh, like I said before, the um, Cabral has five shades and then the Dip Brow has a lot to offer. Um, different shades, warm, cool, neutral, all, all the shades. But uh, considering that there is only five shades, this is the darkest shade, which I mean there are some girls that want darker brows than this and this is only dark brown. and. 
you know, this is what you're gonna get. This is, this is it. Other than the application and price difference, I just feel like these two are pretty identical, but again, it's all <laughs> within preference. And if you are a beginner with brows, um, don't be afraid to get a small sample like this when it's available or anything like that. There's always a way to try something new. And you can always go to Sephora, get like a scoop of this as a sample, you know, there are ways around it where you could try these products. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video and videos like this, just reviews in general, because I rarely do them on my channel just because I use the same products all the time. So um, I'm glad I got around to trying out a different brow product for you guys. And yeah, if you wanna request anything more, then please let me know. Sorry, I'm chewing gum. I had a hot dog. As always, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.